of today we're doing just a quick overview of the Cricut Explore Air 2 and all the individual little aspects of the machine and how everything works and what each little button and compartment is for so you get an overall feel of the Cricut Explore Air 2. Okay, today we want to go into the details for all the different functions on the Cricut Explore Air 2, how they work and what their use is. So let's start by opening our unit. All you have to do is hit that little button and it opens up beautifully. Now if you notice, on the loading tray there are two compartments. The first compartment, which opens up easily, is where you store all your tools. This way, all your stuff that you need for your Cricut is stored with your machine, so it's easy and portable, and you can take it with you. I have the Deluxe tool set, matches my Cricut Explore Air 2, which I love because I love coordinating. All these tools will come in handy. I'm going to pull this out because we're going to show you how that's used in just a moment. This other uh, compartment is for your blades. If you notice, there are spots for multiple blades right here. That's because Cricut has different kinds of blades. They have the standard blade, they have the German carbide blade, which I love because it has a sharper edge and lasts longer for those intricate projects. That's the one that's actually in my Cricut right now. And right here is where you store the the housing that you're not using. This right here is the deep cut blade and housing. You use this for projects that are more intense like chipboard, magnet sheets, things that need a deeper, more intense blade to work with. One of the things I love about it, it keeps everything orderly because it is magnetized. So you can just lift it up and go. And if you need to switch out and put you switch your blades it stores both the standard and the deep cut housing really really simply right there now let's go up and look at this there if you notice there are two housings for your Cricut the right hand side is for your blade this is both the standard and the deep cut blade housing goes right here all you have to do is lift it up put it in drop it now what is this one for this one you use for either your score tool. This is a tool that your Cricut will use if you want to add score lines for fold lines. Say you're doing like a popcorn box and you want that nice crisp edge, easy to assemble. In the design, you make sure there's a score line and then all you have to do is snap that in and then where it needs to be scored, the Cricut will know to score your project. Now. This is also the same housing for pens and markers. Cricut has an amazing line of pens and markers. It's also compatible with other pens and markers out there on the market. And you saw how easy that was to snap that in and ready to go. If your project has multiple colors, don't worry. It will let you know each time you need to switch out your color on your monitor of your tablet or computer screen. And then, like I said, you just snap it open, pull it out, snap the next one in. I like holding it up because that way you don't get a little dot on your project. And there you go. Now let's move over to the left hand side of your unit. You have a nice little area right here that you can either put your tools in it when you're actively using it or your pens that you're going to use if you're using multiple pens in your project. Nice little storage spot. And if you notice this little thing right here, what's that for? The original crickets worked completely by cartridges. That means the only projects you could do were on cartridges you bought and stored multiple cartridges for your projects. If you have those project uh, those cartridges, do not throw them away. You can still use them with this new Cricut even though it works with their online cloud design space. The best part is the very first time you use your cartridge with your design space open, it will recognize that cartridge, unlock it on the online side, and then you don't need to use it again. That feature is only available once per cartridge, otherwise you have to have it in the machine to use. Now let's look over here in the dial settings. This is nice. In the older machines and competitive machines, you actually have to manually change the setting on the blade itself. You have to like turn it or notch it to be able to get that right depth for your projects. This is really easy to mess up and mess up your project. Here, Cricut makes it very easy. You just turn your dial. They have a setting for paper, for vinyl, iron-on, light cardstock, cardstock, 
bonded leather and poster board. Every other project, you set it over here to custom, and then on your computer, you would select the material, whether it is faux leather, adhesive foil, window cling, um, cardstock with glitter, whatever you're using, it has a huge comprehensive list, and so that way you get that perfect cut every time. This is your power button, so when you plug it in, you power it on, and that way you can use your machine. I'm going to turn it off. This button right here is your loading button. When you're starting a project and you're ready to load it, load your mat into your thing, this will start blinking, and you click on it, and it loads the mat perfectly. This is the button to start your project. So it's already loaded, you've hit um, continue on your screen to send it over, the design over to your Cricut. This will start blinking, you click on it and it will start drawing, cutting, scoring, whatever it is that your project needs. If for any reason you need to pause your project because you screwed something up, which I mean we all do, maybe it's loading the wrong pen color or you forgot to load your scoring uh, your score don't worry you can pause it really quickly do what you need to and then unpause it now let's turn around the machine to show you the last of its functions this in the back is where you plug in your power cord you always need power to run things of course now what is this little connection form. The Cricut Explore Air 2 is Bluetooth compatible. That means it can connect with your tablet, phone, or computer wirelessly. That is fantastic. However, sometimes you might need to wire connect it in. So all Cricut Explore Air 2s do come with a cord that goes right in here to be able to connect your I can see what side it goes in. Connect your device to your computer. So if for some reason the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi is not a strong connection and you need to hook it into a computer or you're using a computer that's not your own and accessing the file but you don't have the, the Bluetooth link on your device to that other computer, don't worry, you can just plug it in and recognize it right away. <laughs> So that is all the main functions for the Cricut Explore Air 2. It's such an amazing, compact, little, lightweight machine that you can take with you everywhere. It can cut over 100 different materials. You can do projects, any sort of projects that you can think of, you can probably do it on this machine. I adore it. I have done a ton in my life. But... As you can see, it is very sleek, it's easy to use. If you have any questions, then uh, put them in the comments. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully this little tutorial was very helpful to you. For If you liked it, make sure you hit the little like button and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on more tips, inspiration, and more from my neck of the woods. Thanks!